वेलकम टू टेक रेसिपीज हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू रीड अ टेक्स फाइल इन जावा एट एंड ऑल्सो विथ द जावा इलेवन ए पी आईज वी आर गोइंग टू फर्स्ट सी हाउ टू रीड अ कंप्लीट टेक्सट फाइल इन टू ए स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल एंड लेटर ऑन वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज अ जावा एट स्ट्रीम्स ए पी आई टू प्रोसेस अ टेक्सट फाइल लाइन बाय लाइन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड The first thing, how do we read a complete file into the string? So there are various ways and there are various APIs in Java which allows you to read a particular text file into a string variable. If you are using a Java 11, there is a very straightforward way. We can use a files dot read string API and provide a path to the file and it will give us complete file inside a string variable. So this is a very easy way to do it if you go back a little bit and you are still using a java 7 or java 8 in java 8 there wasn't a read string method inside files api a files class had a read all lines api which would give you a list of all lines in the path and then you can join using string.join or you could also use a read all bytes api uh, if you are using a java 7 or java 8 and prior to that, uh, there weren't any API, so you have to use the use uh, buffer reader. And using buffer reader, what we could have done is we could have iterated and read it line by line into a string. So we are going to see all these three ways first uh, to read a complete file into a string. So we are going to start writing our code. Uh, so I have set up a Maven project inside an IntelliJ. Uh, I have set up a Java version as 16, but uh, you can use the same example with Java 11 as well. Uh, I am going to commit all this code into the GitHub and you will find the link to the code in my YouTube video description. So, uh, so you, can you can download the code and look at it. Okay. Uh, so let's get started with our first example. I will start with writing a simple class text file reader. Now let's write the main method. First thing or first API that we are going to use uh, to read a file is files dot uh, files dot read string method. So before that, uh, I'm going to show you one test dot txt file, which is under a resources folder, and it has some dummy text read string method. Now this method takes a path so we need to provide a path to the file so let's create path path api we can provide a path as a uri or we can also provide a comma separated list of folders so for example if our, our file is inside src main resources we can provide path as src resources s.txt now you could have given the slash slash s here but slashes are always dependent the file separators are always dependent so you can avoid it by using simply comma and let the api take care of it now if i give you this path read string should read and give us a complete file inside a string the str file now a read string api throws an io exception so we can either add exception to method signature or we can use a try catch block i am going to simply throw the exception make sure we uh, we have read the entire file let's try to print So you can see that the complete file has been read into this str file variable we were able to print the entire string so this was the java 11 api read string now if you want to do the same thing with java 8 uh, there is a different way of doing it since the files.read string api is not present 
in Java 8 but it was added in Java 11 so let's see how you can do it with Java 8 or maybe Java 7 so I'm going to create a main method and since the path is same we're going to uh, copy the path now as we have seen Java 8 doesn't have the thing method as a something like files dot read all lines what it turns is a now this method also throws a java except throw it first and it returns a list of strings it doesn't give us a string but it gives us a list of strings let me import the java.util. So let's try to print what we are getting. Run it once to understand what we are getting the output of a files dot read all line. Yeah. Now you see the output, it is like a list of strings. Every line is one element of it. Now we want to convert it into a string. How to do it? So there is a method join this list of string into what we are going to use is string dot join method. Now string dot join requires you to specify the separator. So when you we are going to join these individual elements list of string, we need to specify how we are going to join them together. Uh, for example, you can add a pipe in between, comma in between the two. Strings. But for us, uh, we want them as a new line. See, these were separated by new line. We will add new line separator so now now system dot line separator gives us that very slash and usually it's better to use the system dot line separator instead of any hard coded value we need to specify the list of string what this method will do it will join all this and give us a single string We will get file as a string using these two methods you can actually read the file as a string into the string variable there is another way we can do it in java 8 instead of using files dot read all line there is files dot read all bytes read all bytes will so take a path but it, it would return an array of a byte so it will return a byte array now how to convert this byte array into the string it is a simple way you can create a new string and pass these bytes new string we will use the same variable percent print this new string previous I run this, we will see the similar output. Instead of using read all lines, we are using read all bytes. We are able to read the entire file into a string variable. Now we will see how to read a file in a Java 6. Now, if you are still using Java 6, and I don't think you anyone would be using it, but you are still using Java 6. You will see how to read a text file into a string variable. So in Java 6, uh, there wasn't an API, so we have well, what we had to use is like uh, we will have to use a, a buffer reader to read a file into a string. So what we will do, we will write a static method. Static method, let us take uh, argument as a file java.io.file since path wasn't introduced prior to java 6 so we will use the file variable here and what we will create is a buffered read set of a buffered reader java.io.buffered reader we will pass it to l reader 
because the file was passed to now buffer reader has an api that allows us to read if uh, read a file line by line that api returns a null once it reaches the end of the so to iterate to all the file what we will do we will create a string variable line and then we will create a while loop we will assign the individual line written by the buffered reader to this variable and we will also check if it is not equal to none so what we are doing here is we are basically iterating this buffered reader using a read line until we receive the null so we are going till the end of the line and each time we are getting a line variable populated let's throw our exception uh, because this method and this method throws our exception now we need to build a string out of this so what what we are going to do is we want to use a string builder class append this individual line string builder okay and we will return eventually the string builder dot to string so we will append this individual line from the file we will build a string out of it will return so this is how you need to do if you if you don't have the advantage of using the java 8 or java 11 api like files dot read string we pass file of to pass we are going to point it to the src this line run this program and see what output it gives okay so you will see that you are getting all file lines re are read into the string variable but these are all on the single line this is now how our text file its new line comes on the new line to do that what we what we are doing is while appending we are not adding any line separator line separator if I run it now, we will see the exactly the same output as we have seen in the file. So this method will give us the entire file as.txt in a string variable. So this is how you would do it if you are not using Java 8 or Java 11. You are still using the older Java 6. Now, so far we have seen how to read an entire file into it string variable but that might not be always efficient if a file that we are trying to read is very huge we might end up getting a java dot lang dot out of memory error where we will run out of a heap space also if we are reading a lot of files it's not a good idea to read an entire text file into a string unless you really need entire content of the file sometimes we just want to the process some lines of the file or we just need to filter out a uh, few lines from the file line. in those cases it is more efficient to read a file or stream a file line by line and java 8 has come up with streams api right it also provides a way to read a file as a streams instead of uh, reading a complete file so there is a files dot lines method that has been added in the, in the java 8 and which gives us a stream of a string and we can actually perform a lot of operation like filtering or other mapping and all this stream operation on individual line of a file so let's see one code where uh, the same file that we were able we were trying to read we will try to filter out only the lines where the length of the line is 20 now we are going to see how to use a files.lines and java streams api to filter out uh, 
lines from this file which are like which has a particular length say length 20 now i have created a new class for this example since we are pointing to the same file i have already created a path variable now, as we have seen we have this files dot lines api which gives us a stream of a string so the output of this is a stream and we can apply then other operation like for example we can filter operation here filter out the lines that we need this also throws an io exception so add it to met method signature ideally we should use a try and catch just for the sake of example just for simplicity i am going to throw it from the main method uh, now what what we want to filter now so we want to filter only lines which are like have, have a length of exactly 20 so here in filter we will provide the lamp to do that so we since we are getting an individual line we can check the length of the line that we are getting if it is a 20 we are going to filter it out now we can collect this filtered line inside another list what I will do, I will simply print those out for each line and do like system dot out dot print and use actually method reference is a method of lambda here print lines the length equal to 20. Let's run this code, see the output. So you can see we have only printed the lines where like that length of 20 this way you can actually process the entire file as a stream and we can apply the various operations which are there in the streams api like filtering mapping all all sort of things we can do on a file so this was it from the file reading perspective or reading a file as a line by line versus reading entire file into the string i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you have any questions or if you want me to try something else please let me know in the comment section and i will be happy to help you thank you see you in the next video